This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in under 70 kgs. And I got a rhino porn leash, presenting Cow the Iceberg Burger! As a part making his way to the Cage Warriors, Cage Fire the Red Corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, weighing in under 70 kgs. Cage Warriors Academy Ireland, 70 kg bout between Own the Cat Higgins and Cattle the Iceberg Bergen. It's a battle of the nicknames. We've got Bergen in the Team Rhino trunks, and Higgins is in the burgundy and grey, we'll say. Nice opening leg kick straight away by Bergen. Higgins uh, starting the fight with some nice uh, low kicks inside and outside. And that's Bergen, they're starting to take his toll already and Higgins changes levels, looks for the takedown. When you're talking to fighters during fight week, they do tell you some interesting facts and the one Owen Higgins had for me is he likes to bake. Not too Who sure. doesn't know? I'm not sure if it's that interesting. The other one says he just likes getting in there and wants to win a few fights, but I think he's doing himself injustice. He's looking for this uh, Kamara. Might use this to sweep and better his position as well. That was a good way to threaten to get back to the feet and submission. Bergen just screaming out, he's not a ground fighter, they're happy here and he's still working on that Kimura. BJJ blue belt himself Bergen and just lets go of it and Higgins is inside control now. Higgins just drops north-south position, he's on that neck. North-south choke. Bergen's got it as well, he's from the bottom, very rare you see a finish in that way but Throwing knees up to the body. I'd like to see uh, Bergen uh, work to get off his back here a bit more. Uh, it's very hard to go for that submission there. Maybe shrimp the hips in, uh, retain a half guard or a full guard. Just tries to use strength just to burst out of the position. They're nice knees to the body, but Higgins is staying comfortable in this position, sitting in that side control again, just moves to north. Yeah, Higgins is staying very calm here. Uh, he's not really... Um, uh, leaving any holes open, he could possibly uh, step over and look for a uh, head and arm here. But uh, Bergen uh, Bridges. Bergen had the opportunity almost to get up out of that there. I don't think he realised it was there. Higgins had sort of fallen off balance and the opportunity escape was there. But he, again, he's looking to tie up from the bottom here. I like them knees as well, they are. Yeah, Higgins can step Higgins. over and go for that uh, near side of arm bar as well. Higgins pops the head out, looking for that head and arm. 10 second clapper goes, so he's going to get away. So expect on Higgins to land some shots to finish the round. Yeah, I'd like to see Higgins um, start working some, uh, some shots into his ground game. First round opened up with Bergen landing good heavy leg shots. I expect him to go back to that at the start of the first round here. But Higgins, again, he sort of showed the corner of Bergen by showing he's not a ground fighter. But yet the majority of the first round was Higgins on top, although Bergen was looking to get a submission from there. We're underway in the second round. And uh, almost a fake touch of gloves, I think, there. Maybe not, but Higgins changes levels, and he's happy to mix it up on the ground. I expected that from Higgins. Uh, Bergen lands some heavy, heavy leg kicks in the first round, and I expected the same in the second. So Higgins was smart to take it to the ground straight away. Looking for a leg lock, but the only problem with the leg lock is it leaves you susceptible to shots on top. Higgins does well to turn out of that and ends up in side control yet again. Excellent work by the cat. I'd like to see Higgins once he... Uh, once he feels comfortable, start uh, posturing up and start looking for some strikes now. Um, he did well in the first round to control Bergen, but uh, didn't really land any damage. But Steps into full mount now, James, yeah. 
Steps into the full mount. Bergen explodes and is in on it. Body lock himself, separates. Just blows a little hot air, but a change of levels again by Higgins. And it's Bergen now looking on the neck. Quite slippery though, his head might pop out. He's just looking to tie up the legs, better the position, but... Yeah, Higgins should look to uh, push down on uh, Bergen's knee and step into uh, full mount there. Higgins looked calm and comfortable, and as you said, he's sitting in a nice position here to land ground and pound, gonna slide that knee through and find himself in full mount. Both hooks in on the back now as well. Good work on Higgins. Somewhat recovered the position, did Bergen, but Higgins, Higgins. landed big left hands here. Yeah, some nice ground pound here from Higgins now. He's starting to, uh, starting to take a few chances now to land that big ground pound. And Bergen just trying to tie Higgins up and stop the punishment from coming down, but this is excellent work by Owen Higgins. Landing some good right hands, softening his opponent up on the back. Ties up the body. Straight to the body triangle. Yeah. Looking to uh, pepper him for, with some shots and then look for that rear naked choke. It's not under the chin, it's across the jaw, but as you will attest to, James, that is not comfortable. It is not comfortable at all. Uh, I feel like uh, Higgins should go back to a few strikes and then get uh, Bergen thinking about the strikes and then go back to the rear naked. Higgins looking to even up his amateur record, currently one and two, but always puts in a performance, a game opponent. Showing big improvements tonight here at Cage Warriors Academy Ireland. Looking to change into mount again, lovely transitions, and Bergen is trying to fight out, but every time Higgins is like a surfer on a wave, he just rides it into the next position. Yeah, Higgins is really starting to take control of this fight now. Big second round by Owen Higgins, big statement. It's going to be all there for Kyle Bergen in the third round to do. Big, big second round, Owen Higgins, momentum fully in his corner. Third round of a lightweight bout here between Owen Higgins and Kyle Bergen. Higgins, you got to think, is ahead on the judges' scorecards. Yeah. Kyle Bergen. I'd like to see uh, Bergen um uses boxing a bit more his uh he's been a bit too predictable with those leg kicks and uh higgins just seems to be casting him every time taken to the ground so i feel like uh bergen should start off with a bit of boxing and then maybe mix in the leg kicks or even go uh with a high kick bergen again is the kicks give the opportunity for higgins to get that takedown so i do agree with you james he needs to work the boxing and maybe set up the kicks not just walk off the kick but he goes straight away to that leg kick. And Higgins changes level. Good sprawl, but Higgins keeps pushing forward. And nice by Higgins. He just didn't just freeze up when uh, Bergen uh, sprawled on him. He went straight in, chained his takedown, yeah, went straight like for another takedown. He doesn't get discouraged if the first attempt doesn't go. He just changes on to the next. Yeah, very important aspect of wrestling, chaining your takedowns and going from takedown to takedown, even if one fails. And again now for Kyle Bergen, frustration will start to set in here for the Team Rhino fighter because he, he started the fight off standing, he looked comfortable, looked like he was start doing damage, heavy damage to Higgins' leg, lead leg with them chopping kicks, but ever since he spent the majority of this fight on his back. Yeah, he, he started the fight well, but he I don't think he's uh, changed his game plan enough to win the fight. He's had a one set game plan in his mind and he hasn't changed it. Blue belt in jiu-jitsu himself, so has the opportunity and the tools to hook up a submission here in the third round, and you've got to feel it. Potentially, he needs that finish. Well, Higgins happily sitting in the guard here. Uh, Higgins just controlling Bergen's hips as he's trying to shoot them up for that triangle. Look to, look to pass here now. Excellent work. Just controlling the legs, and that was a beautiful right hand as well. He was nice. just looking to push the legs of Bergen to one side, but use that to land a beautiful right hand. Yeah, I like how uh, Higgins is working in ground and pound as he's trying to uh, pass the guard as well. So if the pass doesn't work, he uh, goes back to his ground and pound and then works for the pass again. Bergen, he needs to... What does he need to do really here, James? To better his position. He's going for... 
foot on the hips maybe to try and push away but he really needs to be more active off his back I'd, when he's when he's throwing those uh, legs up for uh, the triangle the second that's not working I'd, I'd want him going for either a scissor sweep or get a butterfly hook uh, or or something like this because he, he needs something drastic to win this fight coming up to the final 30 seconds of this one you've got to think on higgins is really dominated here and higgins higgins doesn't have to do much here he's he's won the first two rounds of the fight all he has to do is think about defense and stopping bergen's attacks and throw enough ground and pound that the referee doesn't stop the fight so it's really in bergen to uh to uh attack he was looking for a kimura there but abandoned it you gotta say on higgins was really watching all threats, the up kicks from Bergen, but Owen Higgins is going to be a happy man. You feel as the scorecards are read out here. They're going for normal party here. Time gets away from him. But big performance, Owen Higgins, Carl Bergen, Will Lerman. That's what he says. He wants to gain experience and move on to the next one. Ladies and gentlemen, we show our appreciation for both fighters. After three rounds of action, we go to your judges' scorecards. All three judges scored this bout 38-27. For your winner, by unanimous decision, by